Darrell, I believe Tony Stewart's a little forward. better in three and four than Montoya, but I think Montoya gets it back down in one and two where they're at right now. But Stewart really nails the throttle there, pulls right up there on his bumper. What I see is Montoya drives in a little too hard. I think he's no smokes back there. He drives in a little too hard, shoves up in the middle of the corner. That time he held the car down. That time he maintained his line. By keeping the car low. So Stewart, he's going to make Stewart go around him on the outside if Tony can. Gonna Three to go. It's going to be a battle right here. Got to get back to the gas. Got to go. Here nice comes traffic ahead. Here he comes. He's out there. He's got him this time. Even into three. Jeff Gordon looking on. And Stewart, the lead up high. Montoya comes battling back on the bottom. Two laps to go. That's two of the best open wheel drivers. Down, and, down. Down. Here go, here. and they're going at it here at the Magic Mile. Don't forget Jeff Gordon cuts his teeth in open wheel race cars and Whoa. he is right up to the back bumper of Montoya. Yeah, Montoya really got loose off too that time. Yeah, he got a great run and he's going to pull to the bottom. They'll be coming to the white flag this time. One lap to go in a thriller at Dover, Delaware. Montoya, did, uh, he drove that thing up all four even though it was sideways. And don't look now, that 18 car slipping in the picture might get around Jeff Gordon if he's not careful. Tony Stewart will come up on Timmy Hill in the back straightaway, looking for his 48th career win. Hill stays high, and the driver who started the weekend saying, this is our worst track, is going to victory lane in Dover. Tony Stewart wins the FedEx 400, benefiting autism speed. <laughs> Smoke them today. <laughs> Second win here for Steve Addington, the crew chief. And I'm happy for Steve Addington. They have been ready to tar and feather him and Greg Zepinelli. Said this week, we have not been giving this team the tools they need to even get a top five, much less win a race. What a day. That's a great day. Look, that's all of Stuart Haas. They are pumped up. races since Tony Stewart's last Sprint Cup win and as he gets his third checkered flag at Dover and becomes the eighth different Sprint Cup Series winner of 2013. 